choosing the right optic uh, for your hunting situation you're going in. So if you're whitetail hunting, mule deer hunting out west, elk hunting, sheep hunting, whatever it is, uh, there's a ton of options. And I can sit here and talk all day about them, but I brought a couple rifles out with some different scopes on them and just gonna run through some different options and situations that you might have. Um, you know, first thing I'll talk about one of my favorite rifles. This is my lightweight hunter. Um, I've got a long range hunting scope, a Bushnell long range hunting scope on it. It goes up to 12 power, so three to 12 adjustable reticle so that I can dial it in, point of aim, point of impact. A um, uh, lot of variance in that scope. It's very capable of a lot of things. Um, I got my slug gun here, my Savage 220. Um, you know, if you're shooting slugs, a lot of you guys in the Midwest, you've got to hunt whitetails with a slug gun. Uh, I suggest getting an optic that is specific for the slug gun and it's got that shotgun reticle in it. It will make a difference in how you can, how accurate you can get with the gun. You know, and I do think that it's a problem where guys, especially on a gun like that, they go to these really high powered scopes and it's just not necessary for the yardage you're shooting. Then I've got my hog hunter here. Uh, this is a Bushnell 4500. It's a two and a half to 10 power, uh, 40 mil scope, good light gathering capability. I can turn it down to two and a half, three power when I'm shooting, you know, up close and personal or I'm in the brush when it's thick. Uh, I also use it a lot when I'm tracking deer and I just turn that power down. You know, one thing guys don't talk about a lot and something you should think about is, you know, setting your scope on a fixed power that you, you're comfortable shooting and you practice a lot with. That way you're not constantly having to mess with your scope in a hunting situation, especially whitetail hunters. You know, like six, seven power, somewhere in that middle power range on your scope, it will make you more accurate. So if your scope goes up to 10 power, you don't need to be shooting that thing on 10 power at 100 yards. You see too much of your heartbeat and your movement and you're trying to compensate for that and you're paying more attention to that than breaking a good clean trigger break. Turn the power down to something you're comfortable in, take your time, make a good shot. Put your money in your optic, get a good piece of glass on your rifle, and it'll shoot better for you.